welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today I'm going to be answering a fantastic question that was left on my channel last week. Now this question is in regards to intuitive eating. Before I begin today I just wanted to let you know that I'm not a medical professional but I'm doing the very best I can with the knowledge and understanding that I have at the time. All of the information that I'm going to be sharing today is based on my own personal experiences and what works truly best for my body. So without further ado let's get on to today's question. So Marie E asks, is the Daily Dozen not counterintuitive? I would never eat three serves of beans or two tablespoons of nut butters intuitively. Before knowing this app, you didn't eat that way intuitively. Whoa! Thank you, Marie, for your question. And first of all, I want to speak about my journey and how I came to find intuitive eating because that probably is something that I may have left out of the story if you are new to my channel. So I just wanted to address that and let you know that about three years ago next month I first found the Whole Foods um, raw vegan, I was raw vegan actually at that stage for about six months and it was the lifestyle that I found and it came to me as I was researching how to cure my acne, how to lose weight, how to not die of cancer because everyone I knew was getting sick or knew someone else that was had passed away and I was like, you know, this is not okay and I didn't want to be like that. And at the time, um, I was working on an American cruise company and I noticed there was a lot of obese people there and I was like... I was just constantly surrounded by these people when they just didn't look well and I was like right I need to start researching anyway through my research I came across the Whole Foods raw vegan lifestyle it cured everything within my body my acne my digestive issues because my belly used to bloat up um, when I would eat foods it still does that at time to time but nowhere near as much um, it also changed color of my eyes it brightened the color of my eyes my ne eyes were never this white do you want to see a close-up they were never white you know and I didn't even know that the eyes were could talk about your health you know and it wasn't until I had a yoga teacher and she looked at me she's like you have a lot of mucus in your body I was like what how can you tell that by the eyes anyway I did a lot of research basically I became um, raw vegan and it basically led me to cure my body and my intuition didn't tell me to eat those foods you know um, I wasn't even in that path or on that path to listen to my intuition because I found that meat and dairy is like a suppressant and once you lift that veil of meat and dairy for your life you, you become to think a lot clearer and to answer the question, long story short, I find that self-education and self-awareness is what helped me on the path to then be able to intuitively eat, you know, because we do the very best we can with the knowledge and understanding that we have at the time, right? And all of us have come from a past and we are where we are now because this is, this is exactly where we need to be. Yes, when I first became um, vegan, I didn't know about the Daily Dozen and it takes a lot of research and we also constantly evolve and I feel that when we have that knowledge, we then have the understanding to then use our intuition. So I, I feel that self-education is number one before we then look into intuitive eating. So you guys know you've been following me for ages on my channel or if you're new thank you so much for watching this video if this is your first one and so I, I just I honestly believe that self-education is what has got me to where I am today and I'm going to continuously evolve you guys would have seen me when I did like my raw vegan challenge and then I was like okay this is really cool but I felt raw vegan foods wasn't sustainable my intuition was like nah then I did raw to four and I got really fat and I was like uh uh this is not for me and then I did the starch solution because I saw loads of people lose weight I tried that but along the way I picked up tips and tricks from everything that I have learned and I've gotten to a stage now where I'm more aware of listening to my intuition because it takes time to activate the intuition because I honestly feel that the intuition is kicked in by a sense of self-love. When you love who you are and then that's when you start to nourish your body. But at the same time, 
I honestly believe self-education is number one. Intuitive eating then comes into play. But I feel that self-education is going to be a continuous journey because every day we are evolving as people. And I know that wherever you guys are in your journey to become your greatest version, you're evolving too. You may be watching this channel and you're not even vegan, but you're like, you know what, Mel does this. And okay, so that kind of speaks to me. My intuition is saying, well, that's something that I want to adopt. And then I start to make tiny changes. And over time, it's just like you're on a roll and you're, optim you're operating at optimal health and vitality, which is amazing. Check the link in the description. I've made a guide for you. It's like my eight top tips to help you activate your intuition. This is exactly what I have been doing over the past year. I've had so many questions about intuitive eating and I actually spent the time a few weeks ago nutting out exactly what that looks like. And I hope it's going to help you. Actually, I know it's going to help you on your journey. I hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Just wanted to remind you that you're incredible, you're wonderful, you are unique, and you are unstoppable. Make a list of everything that you want to achieve, visualize it, and the world is going to be yours. Remember, continue to make better choices. I will see you tomorrow. I love you so much, my loves.